if you're blood type O, what? Yeah, if you're blood type O and like London broil, then you're gonna love tonight's meal. So tonight's recipe is actually provided by my good friend Liz Bull. And Liz works with smart, busy women that have been struggling with uh, weight loss and helps them lose the weight that they want to lose. What she does is she gets to the real reason for the weight and allows it to be released. Liz likes to cook and just like me, she believes that delicious food can be made without hours and lots of time and struggling in the kitchen. You can get more of her delicious easy peasy recipes by going to her website lizbull.com l-i-z-b-u-l-l.com one of the things that liz does is actually prepare recipes uh, per your blood type and if you've done any research on blood type there are certain blood types that can't handle certain foods the way other blood types can and o is one of them in particular so tonight's meal is the perfect meal if you have blood type o i really love this recipe because it's turning out to be much easier than I thought it was gonna be. It does take a little bit of preparation if you really want it to turn out best. What you have to do is you have to marinate the steak overnight. For the simplest recipe, as far as the marinade is concerned, if you take some Worcestershire sauce and some minced garlic, you put it in a bag and you, you poke uh, the meat uh, all around with a fork, you put it in the fridge, let it marinate overnight. That's the easiest way and it still tastes delicious. But what I have done, I have used the full recipe, and you can look into the description of this video to see what that is. And so first of all, we're going to go ahead and pull this out as I prepared this last night. This is good. Nice and marinated, and this will be ready for cooking in just a few minutes. Then we are going to be taking uh, some uh, sweet potatoes. We're going to cut them up into like steak fries, steak, steak fry size. I'm going to cover them with some... Uh, garlic salt, also some lemon pepper, and top that with some paprika, nice paprika, and then I'm going to put some olive oil on that, we're going to mix that together, and we're going to cook these in the oven for approximately 20 to 25 minutes on 400. So not sure if you're aware or not, but May is officially barbecue month. So what better time to break out the grill than right here in the month of May. And uh, to prepare the grill, you want to um, uh, actually make sure that your, your rack is, is, is nicely oiled. And now that that's complete, you want to get your, uh, your meat ready. We'll got, we got it here in the marinade. What you could do is you could do a couple things with the extra marinade. You could discard it, of course, or you could reduce it to make a nice glaze for the for the meat. So that's been marinating for 24 hours. That's looking delicious. And we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the grill. We're gonna go ahead and cook these for about nine to 10 minutes per side. All right, here we are, nine minutes later. Let's turn these things over. Oh, char boiled, char grilled, looking good. We'll cook these for about another nine minutes or so, or however you like your meat cooked. So we're gonna take these off, transfer them to this cutting board, and uh, we will let these sit for about 10 minutes. And just a, a quick note, if you don't have a grill, you can certainly do this uh, by broiling them. Um, it's not as fun, at least in my opinion. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll let this sit for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut these across the grain back inside and look at this you want to cut it against the grain it's about medium rare just the way we like it and cut it in thin slices once I'm done this we're gonna go ahead and check on the potatoes potatoes are looking good pull these out these are the sweet potato fries ready to rock all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the dressing for the salad. And all of that is is just lemon juice and some olive oil. And so let me go ahead and start juicing uh, two lemons. And we'll see how much that gets us. We're gonna be serving salad for three. Um, and I will determine once complete if we need more lemons. 
All right, so it turns out that we need more, a little bit more lemon. And if you don't have a, a juicer like this, uh, you can always uh, quarter your, your, your lemon and uh, take a fork, and I like to poke it in the middle, and then squeeze it, and then you can kind of use the fork to press and squeeze and get all the juice out of that, that quarter lemon. And here you go. The perfect blood type O meal. London broils with a side salad, sweet potato fries. Thank you once again to Liz Bull.